Right, so this is the next stage. Um, so I'm going to do the diagonal. I've just put a piece of string um, to where I need it, just so I can work out what the angle is, and um, then I'll cut a piece of pipe to length and start looking to notch it. All right, so change of plan. Um, I was going to do the diagonal on the main hoop, um, marked up the angles, went in to notch some tube, and my the hole saws I've just bought don't fit on my notcher, which is a pain in the arse. Uh, so I need different hole saws, I can't be arsed to get them today. Um, so I'm going to make <coughs> the forward down hoop, um, I've just measured it all up. Uh, it's basically a 7 foot piece of tube and um, with a 55 degree angle, uh, 35 degree angle up here and then a 55 degree angle at the front. Uh, so I'm going to get that cut up um, and measured, um, get it bent and see if it fits. And then I'll mark up and do the same with the driver's side one. Um, I'll get a notch, a uh, hole saw on the weekend so I can start notching them and putting it together. Yeah, at the moment, um, <clears throat> so that's the plan for now. Right, so second tube in question. <clears throat> I said seven foot long. Uh, working from the middle, so that's the midpoint. And then the first bend then is uh, 16 and a quarter inches. And second bend, five inches away, so. If I've marked it out right, hopefully that should work. Uh, so the first bend uh, is a 35 degree one. Um, just going to get that done now. Right, so that's uh, the first 35 degree bend done. And then we have to offset it um, by 10 degrees. So I basically turn this down 10 degrees. And now the next bend is 55 degrees. So go ahead and do that one now. And so as you can see that's a 10 degree offset and then it's zero degrees and once again zero degrees right so that's um forward hoop uh, bent to 55 and 35 and then an offset of 10 degrees so have a look now <coughs> see how it fits i have to just cut this off shorter um so yeah have a look see how it fits Okay, so um, <clears throat> that's the first one done. Uh, that's the driver's side, um, and the one in the bender now um, is the passenger side. So basically, line up here up to the die, if you can see that. So this is the first bend, which is uh, 35 degrees. Then I offset that 10 degrees, and then this bend here is um, 55 degrees. So last one turned out all right, so um, I'll uh, set this one up now, get it all level, uh, get it at zero degrees, and I'll get the first 35 done. Right, um, so the last two door bars I made, uh, the second one I made, I bent on the wrong side um, of where of the start of the bend, uh, so I fucked that one up. Um, but then the other one, I'm going to just redo two of them, because I can make them a bit better than before. Um, I just reduced the degrees on the first bend to 25 because I've got a, a 10 degree um, slope where the door comes down. Um, so to make it stay really close to the roof, um, I can put a 10 degree, take 10 degrees off to 25, then 55, and that'll add up to 90 and it'll work out a better fit. Uh, so that's the plan. Um, that wasn't the plan originally until I fucked it all up. Um, but yeah, that's the plan now. So I've just um, cut another length of the tube. Um, I'll bend that now and uh, hopefully that fits um, the way I want it to fit. If it doesn't, I'm going to throw petrol on the car and set it on fire. Because it's doing my fucking head in now. Um, yeah, anyway, as I said, um, I, didn't, I, I thought it was going to be hard um, and slow. Uh, but this is becoming a fucking ball ache and um, doing my head in. So yeah, so um, let me um, re-bend these and uh, hopefully that works out a bit better. So yeah, if you're following this, um, if I were to know how to build a cage, uh, don't follow me. <laughs> As I said, this is my first time. I've done a few bash bars and stuff like that, but they are much easier than them trying to make a cage fit inside a car and join up where it's meant to join and so on. So, um, yeah, don't follow any of this. Um, once I've done a few, then, then I get a bit better at it. Um, I may do a guide then, but at the moment, yeah, this is just um, me practicing um, in my own car and I'm hoping for the best, really. So, yeah, stay tuned. Right, so the reason I messed up um, the second one is this is basically the start of the bend. 
Um, so the way I've measured, I've measured from a center line up to the top. Um, and what I've done is I bent that on the opposite side. So I basically had the pipe turned around the opposite way, uh, which isn't right. So I'm gonna re-bend this again now and that should be um, the way I need it. Right, okay, so that's the driver's side. Um, this one worked and um, fits really good this time. Um, so I'll tell you what I've done on this one. Uh, so basically the tube was about um, six and a half foot long. Just found the center mark, um, which was here. And then my first bend started 16 degrees, uh, 16 inches um, away from the center line. So this is the one that comes from the roof and down. Um, the roof is 10 degrees uh, slant, uh, which then this is makes this 25. Um, and then this one then center line, five inches, and that's a 55 degree angle. So um, <clears throat> yeah, that fits much better. I also didn't offset it as much on the top. Instead of 10 degrees, I've offset it about eight degrees, which um, runs with the line of the car a bit better. Uh, yeah, so that one works. Um, gonna do the other side now and um, measure to the exact same measurements and it should be sound. Uh, I'll just have to trim off a little bit um, on each end um, so I can do that. But yeah, next one. Uh, right, so next length. Um, so as I said, get the center line, which is this line here, and I've gone 16 inches to the first bend, which is going to be 25 degrees, and then I've gone 5 inches from the center to the second bend, which is 55 degrees. Um, I'll offset this one up here at about 8 degrees, same as last one, um, and hopefully if it bends as good as the other one, which it should do, um, it should fit pretty perfect. So, uh, so that pretty much works. Cut this side a bit short, um, but I'll get away with it. That cage uh, moves forward a little bit anyway, so it'll be alright. Follows the roof alright. Down. It's hard to film while holding this. Same so, um, other side fixed as well. Just have to obviously trim that one up there so I can slot it on over into the corner. But same thing. Uh, right, so um, yeah, so that's the two of them done. Um, I got one a little bit short, fuck knows why or how. Um, but yeah, it, it fits anyway, so um, I'm glad I didn't cut anything else off it before I tried to fit it. Uh, driver side one, I just need to trim a bit off that and then notch it. As I said, um, I need to get a notcher, a hole saw for a notcher. Um, so I can notch them properly. Uh, yeah, once I have to notch it, then it's the diagonal bar I'll be doing. Um, I can notch these two front roll over bar roll bars and um, get them tacked into place. I need to get boxes made then for the front, and then it'll just be the diagonals at the back. Then going back to the back strut towers, and just a matter of welding it up and getting the door bars in. Yeah, so um, yeah, on to the next bit. So oh, anyway, I'll finish here on that one. Um, yeah, once again, much slower than I thought, and um, got my head in a little bit when I um, bent them two, who bent the two front bars. Um, I didn't bend them wrong; they would have fitted. Um, they just weren't exactly right, um, and because I bent one on the wrong side of the the bend line, um, it wasn't exactly the same as the opposite side. So I want everything to be as symmetrical as possible, um, so everything matches up. Um, nothing worse than seeing one side with a bend in the wrong place. So um, yeah, it's pain in the arse. Uh, well at least the two of them are bent anyway now so um, I suppose it's not too bad it just took longer than expected and I've wasted more tube um, I'm going to need to order another length of tube now because I haven't got enough left um, to make the cage so I'll get that ordered um, sort out the notcher uh, so I can notch everything get my diagonal bar next um, I've got enough I think for the diagonal bar to do um, I can notch the two front hoops um, yeah, so uh, that'll be it for the next one. Um, whether I'll get another episode out now next week or not, um, I'm not sure. Uh, a lot of tube in the week is whether I get it by next weekend or not. Um, if not, I'll be notching up the other bits anyway. So, um, 
yeah so yeah i think i'll call it a day on that one um this is probably the most random one i'm not even sure once again if i filmed anything of what i filmed I stopped filming for about two hours when i was pissed off that i bent up the tube wrong um but as i said um halfway through this video it's not really a guide on um, how to build a roll cage it's just um basically i'm doing a roll cage for myself um and just watching other youtubers um other youtube videos or fab and the fabricator and stuff and learning off them and basically seeing what they do uh, as I said, uh, we've done bash bars and stuff like that, but um, they're much easier. Uh, they're outside of a car for a start, um, so it's just everything about them is easier. Yeah, so um, yeah, once again, if you are watching, um, like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell, keep up to date with the videos, and um, yeah, see you next time.